Hello, my name is Jackson Barnes, the co-creator and director of the Virtual Musical Theatre Cabaret here at High Point University, alongside our amazing Dean of Arts and Sciences, Mr. Ken Elston. This semester certainly looks different in many different ways. We as artists are being challenged now more than ever to think outside the box. The Department of HPU Theatre and Dance is very saddened that we can't bring to you a traditional fall musical. But keeping our new department mission statement in mind, adapt, create, connect, the musical theater students here at HPU have teamed together to create the virtual musical theater cabaret for you tonight. We hope that this gives you a sense of hope and a sense of joy as you move forward to the future. Thank you so much for watching. They say times are hard for dreamers, but they won't be hard for me. I've saved up everything I know to take that step beyond the lawn. Keep walking till I see the station and then see you go. Inside the train up through the glass. My fingers tracing all of these towns I've never heard of racing past. Off the train in Paris, half a mile from Sacrecourt, the city's waking up for me. A sign says San Apartments vacant. On the second floor, and suddenly I hold a key. I turn a walk, the rooms appear, and all it takes is one more step, and then I hear just me behind my door. It is. Times are hard for dreamers, and who knows, maybe they are. People seem stuck or lost at sea. And I might be a dreamer, but it's gotten me this far, and that is far enough.
Is it the wind over my shoulder? Is it the wind that I hear gently whispering? Are you alone there in the valley? No, not alone, for you walk with me Is it 
Is it the wind there over my shoulder? Is it your voice calling quietly over the hilltop down in the valley? Never alone for you walk with me. When evening And the air gets colder When shadows cover the road I am following Will I be alone? There in the darkness No, not alone Not alone and I'll never Never alone, you are walking, you are walking with me. Is it the wind there over my shoulder? Is it your voice calling quietly over the hilltop down in the valley? Never alone for you. Walk with me over the hilltop, down in the valley, never alone for you walk with me. with me. We had the opportunity to sit down with some musical theater students and discuss what it's like to be an artist during the 2020 global pandemic. Let's see what they have to say. I believe that being an artist during the COVID-19 pandemic has just been incredible because there's been so many different obstacles, especially with doing theater and doing a show that we've had to overcome. For me, I think the biggest thing that I learned during this pandemic was just the adaptation and being, being able to still be able to produce theater in the time of the pandemic. What I loved about this experience is that I feel like the theater community has really come together in a time like this. During like towards March when this all first started being in quarantine, there was a lot of like free things that would never really be free, such as like a light, learning how to do light up, like light board and um, all sorts of things with tech. They had free workshops. There's a lot of Zoom calls with some like original like Broadway cast, which a lot of people got to learn really cool things from that. It was a great time to see the community as a whole come together and possibly be something bigger than itself. This, this really pushed me as an actor to try and act without, you know, other interactions with other actors. And again, I've never done anything like this. Other, other actors that I've done the show with have never done anything like this. And it was a challenge for all of us but I truly, I truly feel that I've become a better actor that way and that hopefully when we don't have these anymore, it will really translate uh, to the stage and yeah, everything, everything will be a lot better. This pandemic has definitely made me stronger and made me realize that I can be more creative and there are so many different ways to be able to do things rather than, you know, one part has to be a couple's part, or you need to hold hands, or it has to be touching. And especially in choreographing dances, and um, especially in theater, when you need like that interaction, there's a lot of different ways to think outside the box, to still show that connection to one another without actually having to touch one another. I think one thing I definitely learned about myself was learning new creative things that I enjoyed doing. I got into drawing more, and I started to write a lot more. And I think because of sitting in quarantine and not having a lot to do as a theater artist who I'm so used to doing and being creative allowed me to explore all these creative options, options that entangle with theater in a way and possibly open like a new route for me in the theater 
industry. And I really, it really has allowed me to get more into playwriting, which I'm hoping to pursue more in the future. Something that I've kind of learned how to do during this quarantine pandemic crisis um, is kind of just, as a person, I've been able to just learn how to be individual and learn how to think things through and make the best decisions for my life. And it's translated to the stage. I feel like I'm a lot more confident as a person. And I hope that I can keep doing that going forward. I think the one thing that I will uh, keep with me and take on for my future works would be thinking more creatively and just thinking about um, how grateful we are for the experiences and I think I will um, hopefully be able to show that in my productions that I do and when I think about what, the, what I'm trying to convey to the audience, I think I want my messages to be very evident and meaningful. I feel like throughout this quarantine, a lot of us have had this huge self-discovery, which is what I've had, and I hope to incorporate that in everything I do within theater for the rest of my life. to take your coffee black you learn to drink your whiskey neat you learn to take the shower cold and sleep on tired feet you learn to order dinner in you learn to send the laundry out you learn how to amuse yourself you learn to live without Tell yourself you're rich at last in money and in time. You draw a bath and then unplug the phone. You pour yourself a Pinot Glow Deval 2003. You sit a spell, a queen upon her throne. You go to bed. tears and not to count the deadly days as they fade into years you learn to stand alone at last so brave and bold and strong and stout you learn somehow to like a dog
I'm high above the city I'm standing on the ledge The view from here is pretty And I step off the edge And now I'm falling, baby, through the sky Through the sky I'm falling, baby, through the sky it's my calling, baby, don't you cry, don't you cry. I'm falling down through the sky toward the street that I'm from. Oh, Broadway, here I come. Broadway, here I come. The pressure, it increases. Closer that I get, I could almost go to pieces, but I'm not quite there yet. See, I've been braving crazy weather, drowning out my cries. I pull myself together. I'm focused on the prize. I'm falling, baby, through the sky, through the sky. I'm falling, baby, through the sky. It's my calling, baby, don't you cry, don't you cry. I'm falling down through the sky. It's a tune you can hum. Oh, Broadway, here I come. remain the same or will I change a little bit will I feel broken or totally complete will I retain my name when I'm the biggest you just hit or will I blend in with the rest of the street The people all are pointing I bet they'd never guess That the saint that they're anointing Is frightened of the mess But even though I fear it I'm playing all my cards Baby, you are gonna hear I'm falling, baby, through the sky, through the sky. I'm falling, baby, through the sky. It's my calling, baby, don't you cry, don't you cry. I'm falling down through the sky, and I refuse to go. Broadway, here I come. Broadway, here I come. Broadway, here I come. Broadway, Broadway, here I come. Here I come. And the last thing I as the impact grows near Is it a scream or a cheer? Well, never mind, I'll never find out Cause Broadway, I am here
There is an art to the building up of suspense. Heads. Though it can be done by luck alone. Heads. If that's the word I'm after. 76 love. A weaker man might be moved to re-examine his faith. If in nothing else, at least in the law of probability. Heads. The law of probability, as it's been oddly assured, has something to do with the proposition that if six monkeys, if six monkeys were. Game? Were they? Are you? Games. The law of averages, if I've got this right, means that if six monkeys were thrown up in the air for long enough, they would land on their tails as often as they would land on their. Heads. Would you? Heads. Heads. Getting a bit of a bore, isn't it? A bore? Well. What about suspense? What suspense? It must be the law of diminishing returns. I feel the spell about to be broken. Well, it wasn't even chance if my calculations are correct. 85 in a row. Feet in the record. Don't be absurd. Easily. Is, is the, uh, what, is the, it, then, is that all? What? A new record, is that as far as you prepared to go? Well. No questions, not even a pause? You spun it yourself. Not a flicker of doubt? Well, I won, didn't I? And if you had lost, if they had come down against you 85 times, one after another, just like that. 85 in a row, Tails? Yes, what would you think? Well, well, I would have a good look at your coins first. I'm relieved. At least we can still count on self-interest as a predictable factor. I suppose it's the last to go. Your capacity for trust made me wonder that if perhaps you alone touch. We have been spinning coins together since. Actually, I don't know the last time we spun coins together.
Hard to see the light now Just don't let it go Things will be alright now We can make it so We are certainly living in unprecedented times. We are all experiencing the COVID-19 pandemic, the Black Lives Matter movement, and the rising turmoil of the 2020 election for the first time. However, artists are continuing to create meaningful art inspired by these changes. We are being called to action. Let's talk to some musical theater students and see how these trying times are impacting their craft. Being an artist in the current social unrest and just weird time that we're in now is really difficult. Um, especially just trying to still do work uh, in the middle of a pandemic, especially when all of these really, really important events are going on, such as the Black Lives Matter movement and this crazy election that we have going on right now. Um, and especially, you know, in quarantine, everyone was feeling, well, you know, what are artists going to do? But everyone that was in quarantine, they were consuming literature, they were consuming, you know, movies and watching, you know, plays online and streaming and reading all these things and so arts is what really I think keeps people grounded. It's been crazy to live through the social unrest especially as an artist. Um, I'm from right outside the DC area and so we see this every single moment of every single day and it's, it just doesn't stop. Um, especially as an artist I got together with a whole lot of friends and we did a lot of play readings and every single time we read something we realized how relevant it was to our society because of what's happening. I think for me, you know, living through these crazy times we're living in, it hasn't really felt much different for me. You know, we've been experiencing social unrest and social challenges for a long time now, and I feel like I have become accustomed to them in a way. But I definitely think, you know, in the times that we're currently living in, I've really understood the importance of self-care. My craft has changed because of this, you know, again, social unrest that we're in right now, because I think I realized just how important my voice can be and all of our voices can be, um, you know, especially as young people and a young generation, that we are the future of our country and our world, and we need to stop being quiet and stop standing down about things and speak our voices and speak our minds and be passionate about the things we believe in unapologetically. I think my craft has changed due to the social unrest in that I'm so much more aware than I already was. Um, I have prided myself throughout my life on being very aware of the social and the political landscape that we live in, but now it's completely unavoidable and I think we're all opening ourselves up to these new ideas and these thoughts and it makes us more empathetic as people, it makes us more cultured, and as artists, there is nothing wrong with being more cultured and being more educated. I have really felt myself change during these times because I have learned to be much more comfortable with the uncomfortable. I have had to educate myself and understand the importance of concepts and ideas that I've never really thought about before. So I feel myself kind of growing and blossoming into the person who I'm called to be. Art can influence social change in the world because, you know, you listen to these things and you read these things and you watch these things and they leave an impact on you, no matter whether you're expecting it to or not, um, no matter what you consume, it stays with you, at least for a little while. I don't think art impacts social change, but that's because I think art reflects social change and art is social change. I mean, if you look throughout history and we talk about how things have changed, what do you look towards first? You look at the clothes we wore, costumes, you look at paintings, which is art, and cinematic history is so important to us as a society. Um, I think our art shows who we are in this time and it shows how we change over time. 
I believe that the art that we create really impacts social change because we as artists have the possibility to show the world as it can be. And I think that through telling these stories on stage and through showing these people and sharing these messages that really let people think or that really give people the opportunity to leave the theater and feel some kind of way about something, we have given that person a glimpse of change. The sun will come out tomorrow, bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Just thinking about tomorrow, clears away the cobwebs and the sorrow, till there's none. When I'm stuck with a day that's gray and lonely. I just stick up my chin and grin and say, oh. The sun will come out tomorrow, so you gotta hang on till tomorrow. Come what may, tomorrow, tomorrow, I love ya, tomorrow, you're always a day. Oh
price we pay to feel. The price of love is lost, but still we pay. We love anyway. And when the night has finally gone, and when we see the new day dawn, we'll wonder how we wandered for so long, so blind. The wasted world we thought we knew, the light will make it look brand new. So let it 